Greetings and welcome, friends. So, last chapter, we were talking about graphing lines, linear functions, and what not. Uh, and we discovered slope intercept form was a great way to work because just looking at the equation, I could figure out the M and the B. That's right, Cameron. You can follow along with your eye face. That's the one. That's great. Thank you. So, Y equals MX plus B was slope intercept form. And using that information, I was able to find M. All right, Ooh, let's see how well I can trace this M, uh, which represented the slope of my line, the rise over run slope, and the B, which was the, the Y intercept, the beginning where I would graph my lines. And, and every line, uh, once I knew those two components, I could graph any line in the world, except for kind of like horizontal line or vertical lines, my bad. Uh, but we had a different equation for that, X equals just some number. And so I like to think about the M and the B as being the unique DNA that makes a line different than all of the rest. And the activity we're doing today is imagine you're like a crime scene investigator and you're trying to figure out which line did it, right? You, you've got some evidence at the scene and you've found like a blood sample where there appeared to be a struggle and you're like, ah, we sent this back to the lab and it turns out the slope was negative three. And so now you know that your line has got to have an M equal to negative three, right? And now there are a lot of lines with a slope of negative three. There are infinitely many lines that have a slope of negative three, but we've narrowed down our list of suspects. But then combining that with knowing that the y-intercept was a half, or B is equal to a half, I can combine those two pieces of information. I've got a DNA match, and I know exactly which line is the line that has these values, all right? There's only one line that has that DNA, the M and the B. So when I want to write the equation of the line with the given slope and y-intercept, I'm just going to plug in M for, right, negative 3 for M and, and 1 half for B, and my equation is going to be y equals negative 3x plus 1 half. And now I have my culprit, right? They're going away for a long time. Go away long time right? We busted them. We had DNA evidence. You're the only line that has that slope and y-intercept. That's it. Thoughts? Questions? No? Oh, you're already... Okay. What, what, is the, uh, what is M on the second one? M equals zero. Now, time out. Time out. Yep. Uh, B is equal to negative two. When I say M equals zero, what type of line does that have us all visualize? Mm, not quite. Horizontal line has a un, uh, has a slope of zero. Undefined slope would be a vertical line. So, so when I hear slope of zero, I've already got an idea visually of what that line looks like. And I might even start thinking of what that equation looks like. And that's what Adriana said. Uh, she didn't write this one step, but just for those of us following along, I might have written it this way, right? M e, uh, y equals zero x minus two. But zero x, we don't have to even write that. That's just y equals negative two. Right, right. <clears throat> right, so that's that's not, not too shabby. That's not bad at all. Once I know the M and the B, I can find, right, the equation of the line. I've narrowed it down to one line out of the infinitely many that ever have that be true. All right, let's take a look at these. What if, instead of someone saying, hey, here's your M and the B, what if we now just like, we've got like some ballistics data and we're like, ah, it appears the bullet traveled this trajectory. We've got to figure out what uh, M and B that happen to have. Send it back to the lab, friends. Uh, how could I find the M from this? If you're the, the CSI lab technician, how could I find the slope? Okay, it's positive slope. It's going up. All right. Uh, I can pick. Uh, so you're saying up three and over two. Yeah, I, th I think I agree, right? The points that I'd want to compare are the ones where it crosses the grid right on the crosshairs there. And any between any of those, I could go right up, uh, up three and over two, right? Or even here, up three and over two. Would it have mattered if I started at this point and went to that point? I would have gone up six and over four, and a fraction of six fourths is the same as a fraction of three over two. 
All right, so it appears as though my slope being rise over run is three halves. So we're just like recreating this scene of the crime. We figured out the slope. Now, how can I find my y-intercept? So is it this one? Ah, it's going to be where it crosses the y-axis, right? So the y-intercept, the b, is going to equal negative 3. And now that I've got my two pieces of DNA, I can match it to the culprit. What is my equation? Y equals? Yep, yeah, Y equals 3 halves X minus 3. So I can find the equation by piecing together clues, right? And, uh, and then just plugging in for the M and the B. So it's just like we've done before, except we're doing it backwards now. Okay, uh, let's have you guys try part B real quick. I'll walk around and check how you're doing. You could also try the monitor. Yeah, if, you're already, if you already did this one, you can go back and, and do uh, the monitoring progress questions three and four as well. So guys, let's, uh, let's take a look at B together. Unless you, unless, if I already confirmed yours, then you're fine. You can go on. So guys, to find the slope, ladies, gentlemen, to find the slope, why would I not want to use this point? Did someone answer that? Yeah, like, I wouldn't know what amount this is. Like, that's like a decimal amount. I, I don't want to use that point. So what's a better point I could use? It looks like it doesn't cross the grid until here. They conveniently gave me some. So the rise here, how many boxes do I have to go down? Looks like three. And I'm, the rise is falling, so that's a negative number. And the run is four. So M is equal to rise over run. And then let's see, what's the y-intercept? B equals 2. You guys are good to go. Have a great weekend. I'll write this down for my internet friends. y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. All right. Have a great day, friends.